Hey everyone, Spangle here with Fob Equestria, and I have with me Kelly Metzger. Hello, Spangle. Hi. So you are the voice of Spitfire, for those of you unaware. It is true. Now, like I was just saying, before we actually got this whole thing underway, uh, being Spitfire, being a Wonderbolt, kind of the Blue Angels or the Thunderbirds of the Equestrian Air ah. Force of sorts, you kind of hold a special place in a lot of military bronies' hearts. Uh, I know one of our guys here claims to be your number one fan. Is it true? I think it's true. Yeah? I believe yeah. him. I yeah. believe him. I believe him. Uh, definitely. So Spitfire is kind of a unique role. Mm -hmm. um, not too many of the Wonderbolts get speaking roles. The only other one who's really said anything significant is Soren. And he just eats. Yeah, he kind of likes his pie, doesn't yes, he? Yes, he likes his pie. So now I'm just kind of curious. It, before Wonderbolt Academy, Spitfire kind of had only a few lines here and there. Yeah. Uh, were you a bit excited when you heard? When I got an episode there where I actually yes. said more than three sentences? I was so excited. I was so excited because, you know, uh, I like to tell people that I grew up and became a pony and um, <laughs> having more to say gives it more legitimacy to that claim. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You know, but even if you didn't get like an episode really focused on you, you know, we'd all still love you. You anyway. know, that I'm still the leader of the Wonderbolt. So obviously yeah, that's clearly. a pretty big deal. Yeah. So uh, bronies. Yes. I hear you recently discovered us. Kind of I recently. have, yes. Uh, I think um, my first big contact with you was in December, right when the episode came out, and I opened up my email, and it was like, all these followers on Twitter. I was like, what just happened? The bronies <laughs> discovered you. Yeah, yeah. So that was very exciting, and we had a lot of, like, chats um, <laughs> on the email, on, on the Twitter. Yes. Yes. So, what, what is your general impression of bronies so far? Oh, well, the more I get to know them, the more I see that they're wonderful, um, inclusive community, and very positive, and uh, the more I get to know you, the more I like you. Right. So. Well, I think that's, that's kind of a typical, you know, reaction to us. Yeah. And now, I'm, I'm curious, did you, were you a little weirded out at first? Because most people are. At first? Um... Maybe because I'd been talking to Andrea for a while, so I'd already heard So of it you. kind of, like, yeah. eased you into it? Well, I found the Spitfire sexy Tumblr, so that made me a little <laughs> bit... Uh, uh, a little a bit, bit uncomfortable, uh, I, but also it was very interesting. Well, she has such a sexy voice. So. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, <laughs> thank you. But um, then I realized there's more to this community than just that Tumblr. Oh, right? there, yes, there's yes. tons. That's this community thought. is so just vast in its creative pursuits. It's yes, that's ridiculous. The, that's the most exciting part is all the stuff that you guys create, all the artwork and stuff. Oh, I love it, mm -hmm. definitely. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, you you got a bit of that here. I got so much um, creative things. Um, I got like a, that, like this beautiful plushie and um, a stamp. Uh, someone came from Japan and gave me a hoof stamp, like really? how uh, Spitfire is like stamping her hoof prints. Yeah. I got a hoof print stamp. I got um, some beautiful artwork, a wood carving by Firemane. Uh, Lots of beautiful things. I, yeah. uh, I'm very excited about it. I can't everything. say I'm too surprised that Firemane gave you a wood carving. He's a pretty generous person. Yes, yes. So uh, now, bronies are one thing. Military bronies were kind of our own unique. I am niche. I'm very interested in military bronies. Explain this to me. How did this happen? That's what? a very good question. Is it like the dichotomy of um, yeah, your profession of and and the show and the philosophy of that? Um, military bronies. I think the m re response most people would give mm -hmm. is that because we deal with so much of just this one aspect of life, this very hard aspect of life, mm -hmm. that. We need balance in our life. Right, right. And so ponies kind of help to provide that balance. And not only that, we do find a lot of values portrayed in the show to be very, you know, desirable, very similar to military values. Because, I mean, you have loyalty and you have honesty and right. you have all these things, you know, generosity. I mean, what's more generous than putting your own life out there to uh, protect other people? Yeah, so. that's true. That's true. It's uh, definitely there was, for the military bronies who have given it a chance, a lot of us do find ourselves very attracted to it. Hmm. And, uh, but there are certainly plenty of military members who look at us and they're just like, how can you even like that? They, it just goes completely over their heads. Right, right. But uh, they also haven't given it a chance, so they don't really know. Exactly, exactly. That's also what I say when I encounter people that um, are more judgmental to bronies. I'm like, well, have you ever watched an episode? Do you even know what you're talking right. about before you've... I, 
unfortunately, you judge it. a lot of people do seem to uh, make really harsh judgments on just yeah. preconceived notions rather than actual knowledge. Yeah. So. But uh, it's I'm a glad. metaphor for life, really. Yeah, it kind of is. Kind of. But I, I'm glad you didn't, and you have ever so graciously uh, become a part of this community. Yeah, how exciting. Yeah, very much so. Now, Spitfire. Mm -hmm. um, there was a lot of, among the military brony community, when we heard about Wonderbolts Academy, mm -hmm. we were like, oh man, that could be a military kind of themed episode. But a lot of us, like, we are cautiously optimistic. We are hoping for that. Yeah. But at the same time, we we're like, uh, more realistically, it's probably going to be like a sports camp thing. So, you know, because it's more kid friendly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, were you at all surprised that they went kind of the military route? Um, yeah, I was, I was surprised at how they took uh, my character who was like, chill in my back, what's up? And then put her in a totally different situation and brought a whole other side to her personality. But um, I thought it was a hilarious episode, and so I was happy to be part of it. Yeah, yeah it was definitely entertaining, mm -hmm. actually. Um, this is a bit of a shameless plug, but our website, we had a lot of our staff members do a react to Wonderbolts Academy. Oh. So we kind of filmed our thoughts and reactions to it. And we had a drill sergeant who uh, had an issue with lightning dust because she was all back talky. And it, it's like, we were like, that would never fly. Oh. We kind of wanted Spitfire to rip into her a bit more. Oh, interesting. But at the same time, we're like, ah, it's ponies. They're a bit nicer. Yeah. I mean, even though Spitfire was no biz like all business. In all that. business. Which actually, you know, what? that's it's like, um, it's very appropriate because in the military, you need to know when to be professional and you need to know when to be laid back. Yeah. And I do notice... Uh, Fighter pilots, when they, in general, they tend to be pretty laid back. Oh, so, they do. Uh, the, I, I think Spitfire is very well portrayed in the series. Thank you. I accept that compliment. <laughs> I'm glad you accept it. <laughs> now, uh, this is your first convention mm -hmm. in Tech, well, and it's in Texas, which mm -hmm. is a long way mm -hmm. away from uh, the environment you're used to being in. Mm -hmm. um, are you aware that? A lot of military, at least in the Air Force, a lot of our training happens in Texas. I didn't know that. No, yeah. so uh, it, it's not quite, um, I don't know how well Spitfire would fare in this weather. Oh, well, maybe because she was going so fast. It cools her off. It cool her off. Yeah. Yeah. And when you're in high altitudes and it's colder out, right? The sky's, right. The sky's colder the higher you go. So I think no. that's, I think she'd do okay. You think she'd do just fine? Yeah. All right. Well. You know what? That makes enough sense to me. Okay, good. Because <laughs> <laughs> I just made it up. Now, I'm wondering, were you at all um, intimidated about by trying to bring this more drill sergeanty role to Spitfire? Um, I guess I'm always a little bit nervous before I get into the session because it's so quick and impulsive, and I'm like, oh, I hope I can do it. Um... So I, I guess this is the basic amount kind of, of just nerves the... that I usually bring. I'm like, okay, you can do it. You can do it. And then, yeah. Well, clearly you did it. I, I mean. I did it. <laughs> I think it took everyone a bit by surprise when they heard Spitfire was going to have an episode. They maybe expected her to be more her laid back self. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but then she comes out with this raspy drill sergeant voice. And actually my voice. She's <laughs> getting a little raspy at the end of this oh, weekend. Oh, absolutely. This mm -hmm. con has been uh, crazy on multiple levels. But uh, I'm actually, so have you had any interesting stories from this convention so far? Maybe, I know we've had a few military bronies here, and uh, anything interesting happen maybe? Um. Any odd comments or like memorable moments? Um, all, all the most surprising things were when me and Marika realized we were being live streamed as we were dancing at the Hey Ocean concert. Really? <laughs> that that was surprising. And then I made a request at the recent panel for a brony t-shirt with the definition of brony on the back. And then wow. within 10 minutes of saying that, then I got it. So bronies, that was very surprising as well. Bronies are very resourceful and very uh, certainly generous. Mm. But uh, any, I mean, that pretty much covers what I want to talk to you about. Mm. Um, any last things you might want to say? Any Final comments or questions about... My final comment is... Do you think you have what it takes to be a Wonderbolt? Do you? Well, get up there and give me 20! <laughs> yeah! I'm so glad you signed that on the back of my shirt. Oh, awesome. But anyway, this has been Spangle with Kelly Metzger. Hello. Voice of Spitfire with Fava Equestria. Semper Philly.